Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Legendary Difficulty. Ladies and gentlemen, so far it's been going pretty smooth, gotta say. Haven't had too many issues just yet. Enemies are definitely bullet sponges, or damage sponges, I guess I should say. But other than that, I mean, our berserker power, our damage is doing wonders. It really is. It's not doing too bad. We're gonna make a quick stop here. We're gonna wait for... 12 hours so that it's 1 a.m. mountain time. Ah, 1 a.m. mountain time. So used to saying my stream times. By the way, you should check out my stream. Links are in the description below. We have a lot of fun over there. And at the time of this recording, well, I guess I shouldn't say what we're doing because I might make a last minute change, but it most likely is a very big RPG playthrough that I think you'll quite enjoy. I could be wrong. You might hate it, but I think Whatever it's going to be good. You need. You looking for a new blade? I see no harm in it if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. I actually needed you to sell me some stuff if you don't mind. Let's wait two hours and see where he's at. Perfect. Okay, they need to be near their actual crafting area. You looking for a new blade? Yo, no, I'm looking for you to sell something. Why don't you walk right there? There you go. Start grinding it up. Come on. You got this. Alvor. You got it, man. Nice. Whatever you... Hmm. Blades, helmets. Okay. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. So we are going to sell all this stuff. We have a light armor shield. You can have light armor or heavy armor shields. We've got a light armor here. But we're not going to be using shields. There is a way... Let's sell that. We're going to keep these to disenchant, by the way. Oh, and when you sell things, yeah, you're increasing your speech by a tiny, tiny amount. Uh, going to keep that. Going to keep that. Sell this. Going to keep the ingots. Sell that. And sell that. Okay, we should be good to go. Our carry weight has been alleviated. Bye-bye. Now we're going to do the main quest, which is the Golden Claw. Wait, talk to the Jarl of Whiterun. Oh, yeah. Wait a second. How do we want to do this? Yeah, so you have a major choice here. And I honestly always do... What do I do first? I think I go straight away to the Golden Claw. Yeah, because you killed kind of two birds with one stone. So I think we're going to do that. The Golden Claw, Lucan Valerius in Riverwood, is offering me a gold reward if I retrieve his antique Golden Claw, stolen by bandits camped in Bleak Falls Barrow. Retrieve the Golden Claw. And that is our goal. And we can prepare more... I'm wondering how we could prepare more, actually. And also, what is the quickest way to Bleak Falls Barrow? Um, it's right up there. We can see it. I think I typically go the same route every time. Is there a way to get to it over from here? We might have to go over to that little section over there and then walk around, but... I'm going to attempt to get to it from down here. We're going to have to put our Bethesda scaling shoes on and try to figure things out. So what we're aiming for is that building. That is not Bleak Falls Barrow, but it is something that leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. Please don't be wrong, and please let there be a little path going up here. Um, I am seeing a dead end, but if I can use my Y button accordingly. Oh, that's that line that I like to feel. No, that sounds wrong. <laughs> oh, boy. <coughs> my throat. Okay, God, my throat is, my poor throat has been like on the fritz for so long now. Uh, let's make a new save. And this is gonna be challenging. This is gonna be challenging. Yep, now begins the challenge. There are some dudes and dudettes up ahead that are gonna be firing arrows at me. Okay, we're already detected. I really wish they distinguished between if your companions or horse are detecting you versus, oh, oh, oh versus enemies. Although he might be giving me the, hey, you should stay away if you know what's good for you, type thing. Looks like that's what he's doing. Hi! Never should have come here. Never should have come. Oh! Okay, well, I kind of needed to, pal. Okay, so we're going to go for this guy first, and we're going to move around constantly, because as you can probably hear, there is somebody firing arrows at. What the hell was that? He just got a whole bunch of health back. Okay. Oh, boy, not good. Not good. Okay, so what we need to do now is go into items, potions, and favorite are... Ooh, let's use a frostbite venom, too. A blood-freezing poison that does five points of damage to health and stamina for four seconds. So if we equip it, bam, it's on our weapon now. Uh, we need to 
favorite this and drink a couple. All right, now we'll poison this guy if we hit him. So you can see he's glowing green, maybe? He's running away? Okay. All right. Okay. So, you need to stagger your power attacks. Come on. There we go. Okay, nice. You need to stagger your power attacks so that they interrupt these dudes and kind of make them stagger. So that way you can deal some good damage. Uh, it's a tricky thing, but you'll get used to it once you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's, a good, it's a good thing to combo a normal hit. You're routed? Yeah, I'd say so. You should install a new router. That didn't even make any sense. I'm going to grab you and toss you if you don't mind. Off you go. Bye. <laughs> um, What was I saying? Yeah, so it's good to like kind of hit and then do a power hit like that. It's basically like two hits in one, and it'll also stagger these nerds. Uh, and then that's going to be extremely important in this playthrough because obviously if they're staggered, they're not dealing damage to us, and we're dealing damage to them. Let's take the coin purse. So far, this is very typical for a Skyrim playthrough. I'm kind of doing everything that I normally do. Uh, let's see. Uh, in fact, you know, going into this tower. Uh, I want to be eating those, actually. Yeah, you can just use the right trigger to instantly activate a lot of stuff in containers, such as eating to restore health. Okay, let's go up here. And there is a chest waiting at the top. Thank you. Petty soul gem. Those will come in handy later. And a whole bunch of stuff. All right. Now, the question is, can we make the drop? Probably not. Going to quick save here. Haven't had a death just yet. Let's see if we can manage this. And... Oh! Okay. We're going to regen some health. In fact, let's go into our items, into our food, and eat that apple pie. Restore 10 points of health. Yum. Eat the bread. Yum. Eat the bread. Yum. Eat the cabbage. Eat the carrots. Delicious. I don't think any of that stuff gave us HP regen. Just flat health regen. Okay. All right. And here we go. Oh, how... What's the word? Uh, okay, so how am I going to do thumbnails also? Are we going to have to do the same thing? I would like it if there was a better way to do this. I mean, could I, I could always, like, make a save, go back to the save, and then do this off camera. But look how majestic that looks. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, we, we have to make use of Skyrim Special Edition. It is quite nice looking. But GV, mods are even better. Yes, I know. I know, but you know me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a vanilla boy. Both physically and <laughs> mentally? I don't know. Bleak Falls Barrow, this is a big place. Meaning I'm very white is what I'm trying to say. Okay, here we go. Got some peeps up ahead. They're going to be firing arrows at me. So usually what I do with arrow people is kind of move left to right. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. We do not want to be double teamed. Well, you're going to have to. Okay. This guy. Okay. 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 We do not want to get with those. Get hit with those power attacks. That's going to be bad. And we're going to try to go as far as possible without taking a hit, too. Or without dying. Okay, that guy landed a hit, unfortunately. And down he goes. That's one down. Okay, let's loot him. Uh, and we'll try to make quick saves whenever we can. Like, right there. Okay, Feindal. There we go. Yeah, because she's dead, Feindal. Pay attention, man. Okay, we got one more dude up ahead. And then we can start accruing some sneak points. Dodge left to right. Oh, God, he got me. Okay. Oh, boy. Like an old Ew! Oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, let me use some of these. I'm gonna use two. Don't want to use our potions early, because we're gonna really need them. Oh, God. Okay. Down he goes, and I think there's still somebody firing at me, or am I wrong? Feindal cannot hit me, right? Because I felt like I got hit with an arrow, but I'm not entirely sure. Alright, nice job, Feindal. Now, if we wait an hour... Oh, that's a really easy way to get our health back. Okay, that's going to make things a lot easier than I was thinking. Into Bleak Falls Temple. I'm going to take a swig of water. My poor throat is seriously dying. Oh, it feels so good going down. Okay, Skeever. Going to eat its tail. Delicious. Damage stamina regen. Going to take it because it's now chemical uh, ingredient. Let's move over here. Dark elf wants to go on ahead, Leonard. Better than us, Whiskey. What if Arvid doesn't come back? I want my share from that cloth. Just shut it. Keep an eye out for trouble. 
Okay, they're referring to the Golden Claw, which is what we're after. Now, I would love to get some sneak attacks. No, no one's there. See, here we go. We're accruing some sneak points. So I kind of want to early game. Ah, there we go. Okay, and once you're detected, it's all over. All right, let's try a big old power attack on both of these, or maybe just one. Oh, okay, we missed a whole bunch. What are they doing? They're attacking you, Feindal, you silly man. That should be a level up. Very nice. Okay, down one goes. Oh, attacking Feindal by accident. And down he goes. Very nice. So once again, we can sell, uh, save those level ups for an instant health increase, which I have a feeling we're going to need to use. Anytime we see a bed, rest for one hour, although I just realized we don't have to. We can literally just wait. You awaken feeling rested. Wait a second. What does rested do? All skills improve 5% faster for eight hours. Wow, that's not something I ever make use of and really should have in the past. Okay, so we are going to use that. Now let's continue on and sneak. Things are going to be slow going as we're sneaking in the early game, but once we're able to max out sneak, we'll be able to move much faster with the little... Well, I guess I shouldn't give it away, even though if you're paying attention, I already did in a previous episode. But I need that ASAP, because I like being a fast boy. I like being a rolly boy, and... Well, okay. Well, I just gave it away anyways. I would imagine most people know. <laughs> I thought there was a uh, coin purse up here or something. No? Nothing? By the way, Feindal's doing excellently. He's drawing the aggro. It's making things a little bit easy, but the game's going to balance out quickly, I think. Once enemies truly start becoming damage sponges, the game will start balancing out incredibly fast. And by balancing out, I mean being uh, incredibly difficult, I would think. So that's why we need to start stacking damage and sneak as quickly as possible. Damage, of course, but sneak for the sneak bonuses, which if you didn't know you get a sneak bonus. Now, this guy's dead. Go ahead. Oh, we can get some sneak uh, increases here, too. Yeah, pull the lever, man. Pull the lever, Kronk. Not that lever. Classic joke. Oh, my God. Since it's on Legendary, he's actually going to live it, isn't he? Huh? <laughs> or not. Okay. <laughs> yeah, normally he dies, like, instantly. Okay, that's to tell us that maybe we should learn from his mistakes. Uh, we're gonna pull that back. Oh, okay, that's what I was scared of. Feindal did get nipped, but that's okay. Uh, we have a classic Skyrim puzzle, which is the epitome of challenging. Boy, how do we figure this out? If anybody could please help me in the comment section below, I am at a complete loss. Please, please, y'all, I really need some help here. Snake, something, fish. Snake, snake, fish. Snake, snake, fish. Snake, snake, fish. Snake, snake, fish. And Feindal, want to do the honors? Actually, I think we can't have him do it, can't we? Uh, what do you do? It's like hold LB or so There's a button you can hold. Oh, isn't it A, actually? Hold A? There's a button you can hold to go into, like, uh, make the person do something mode. Maybe if we, yeah. No, I didn't want... Okay. You can you can actually cause Feindal to do it, but... Uh, maybe you just have to go into his speech options and do it that way. Uh, we have Thief here. Now, interestingly enough, what you can do is actually never read these and save them for the later levels. Because once your skills start getting up to, you know, like 80, 90, they become very hard to increase. So, we could actually leave this here and come back when we have, like, you know, 90 sneak or whatever. But I'm not going to do that. So we'll just in, we'll just do it. Oh, this is pickpocket, and then it'll increase our level. Also, since it's valued at a decent amount, we'll take it, and we'll take the potion, and we'll look at the chest. Boop, boop, and boop. Okay. Oh, God, the burial urns. Yeah, everybody and their mothers in the 100% Skyrim playthrough was telling me to loot all the burial urns. Folks, again, let's keep the playthrough moving. We don't have to loot every single thing. It's going to be just fine, I promise. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab flames. So satisfying. Going to take their little skeevy tails. Thank you. Uh, it, it hurts me to kill rats because I own two rats in real life. I've owned like seven or five. I always forget. I've had so many. I think five. I think seven is too much. Or is it? 
I always forget. Anyways, moving on. Okay, let's see. Scroll of Fireball. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, it's... Again, the real fun of this playthrough is gonna be when we when we start having... When we start... When we're going to start having to use different stuff like poisons and scrolls and different spells. Is someone coming? Is that you, Bjorn, It is none of those people. My name is Grogan. Okay, let's take that. Thank you. And we've actually got, well, something interesting that I won't spoil up ahead. Uh, I'm going to take flames. I think that'll be a good thing to start with. Actually, I'm going to take an iron war axe. Never mind. And we're going to cut through this right here. Okay. Stop. Relax, buddy. Uh, we're going to equip flames in both hands. And I don't think, do we have berserker rage? If we do, well, let's use it now. Oh, don't. Okay. We do. It is a boss fight against a wounded frostbite spider. Let's put these back on. Dodge an attack or two. Okay, now we're dealing double damage and taking half. Yeah, I am, buddy. I've been put. Oh, my God. Okay. So that is what we're saving the level up for. Health again. And... I think one-handed is not able to be increased, right? Yeah, we need a while to get up to that. Uh, let's see. Sneak, we need one more point. What else should we... So we need to maximize defense and damage ASAP. Um, so let's see. Uh, let's take a look at all the different stuff we have. Speech can get you out of some fights, so that's a thing too. And I think outside of that, we're going to need... Enchanting and alteration. No, enchanting and smithing. But a third thing that we can do is light armor. Increase armor rating for light armor by 20%. Yes, indeed. Okay. Our health is back up to the top. Oh, God. This thing is dealing a lot of damage. Whoa. Okay. We are literally about to die. Uh, let's go through food. Restore one point. Oh, that's not worth it. Oh, that's none of this is worth it. 15 points, there we go. Some apples, yum. Pheasant breast, delicious. Raw rabbit legs, red apples. Sack of flour, goat cheese, and tomatoes. Okay, that was something. Okay, we gotta watch our health down there. Did a big old power attack and down it goes. Who? Okay. That was the first instance of a challenge. That was the first instance of a challenge. Wait one hour. Ooh boy. Okay, I think everybody wanted me to loot urns because they were all like, you know, the urns have a lot of gold. We will, but like like I said, I'm not going to go out of my way to make sure we get every single thing. That is not fun for me, and if I'm not having fun, well, the playthrough is going to suffer. Get me down. Get me down. Relax, pal. I'm coming. Relax. Did you not just see what I went through there, friend? Okay. You, over here. Is this a better thumbnail? Nah, we got a really good one. You did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Where's the golden claw? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Oh, but I will. So again, we're going... Uh, the alignment for this character is going to be lawful evil. Maybe it'll change... Once we start, you know, trying that on. But for now, lawful evil. Which means, we'll choose this one. Hand over the claw first. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. Okay, that's fair enough. Now, I don't think you can actually damage Arvel. It's coming loose. I can feel it. Say it. Never should have come here. <laughs> you should have never come here. Actually, you might want to fight me, Arvel, because you might stand a chance in this playthrough. Okay. So Arvel the Swift is running for it. Ooh! Oh, he is fighting. Okay, let's kill him. Not swift enough, I'm afraid. On Arvel the Swift, we have the Golden Claw. Has anyone ever seen this obscure Skyrim item? Pretty sure you haven't, right? Thank you. We've got Arvel's journal. My fingers are trembling. The golden claw is finally in my hands, and with it, the power of the ancient Nordic heroes. That fool Lucan Valerius had no idea that his favorite store decoration was actually the key to Bleak Falls Barrow. Now I just need to get 
get to the Hall of Stories and unlock the door. The legend says there's a test that the Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away, but that when you have the Golden Claw, the solution is in the palm of your hands. Quite interesting indeed. I'm gonna take all of his stuff, and his iron sword, and his belted tunic, and give him a slash for good measure. Okay, so one thing I never What the hell just happened there? Why did we do like a front... Why did we do like a front roll? That was very bizarre. One thing that I never realized, because usually um, Arbol, I think, intentionally has very low HP, is that when you cut him down, he tries to lead you into the next room. Probably for a specific reason, which we'll see in just a second. Look at this. I'm looking through the urns. Is everybody appeased? Are you all appeased? I'm looking through the urns. Okay, let's go into sneak. Let's save. Man, we haven't died yet. Let's see how far we can go Don't without like a death. The looks of this. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it, dude. Okay, so he has led us into this room. And notice... Notice we got a sneak increase. Now, that's bizarre, isn't it? Also, does it work if we just, like, kind of run against the wall? Because we are moving, right? Anything? Uh, we'll have to wait and see if the sneak actually increases. It will go fast if it is, but if it's not, then we're kind of just wasting our time, obviously. So, uh, the fact that our sneak increased should let you in on maybe not everything here is as it seems. And as if to... <laughs> Empath empathize, empathize, empath em emphasize that fact. We've got a Draugr. Oh god, oh god! Don't run, don't step on that thing, buddy. I told him. Oh man, my HP. I did not see my HP. Okay, now this is getting hard. Oh boy. One, two, three. All right, we are really gonna have to be smart about all of this now. Um, gosh, yeah. Okay. One. Oh god. He swings so slowly. Bait out an attack just like Dark Souls. One, two. Get two hits in. Okay. Yeah, Skyrim hitboxes are very bizarre. Oh, okay, I knew that one was gonna hit. Jeez Louise, this is not good. Uh, alright, let's use a scroll. Scroll of Firestorm. Does more damage closer to targets. This might get me killed, actually. I'm gonna quick save here. Oh, this is definitely gonna get me killed. Oh! Um, yeah, why am I even using this? This sucks. Scroll the fireball. Woo! Alrighty. Alright, Sven. Do it, buddy. Do it, buddy. Come on. We got this. What the hell was that? Broken. Okay, holy crap. That was scary. Healing time. The healing spell heals. I know nobody saw that coming. Oh man, okay, now this is getting hard. <laughs> Not good. Ancient Nord War Axe, uh, I think is gonna be an upgrade. Let's take a look. The damage is 15, let's favorite it. Uh, the damage on the steel is also 15. We'll put that in the left hand and we will unfavorite that. So there we go, we got a one point damage increase. Let's wait for an hour. Save the game. Oh my god. Okay, so we want to remain in sneak. So there's a lot of environmental stuff that deals massive damage to both us and enemies alike. One of those, ooh, dual ancient Nord war axes or whatever those are called. Uh, let's favorite both and unfavorite that. Um, one of those things is traps. So you saw that guy run over there. He activated the trap and then instantly died. That is the thing. With traps, with ground traps, anything that sets on fire, um, they deal massive stuff. That is a trap, you know, pressure plate right there. If we activate it, that thing's gonna smack me in the face, and I'll pro- Love companions, and I'll probably die instantly. Also, there's a way to know if certain enemies- Oh, come on. Certain enemies- Okay, dude. Yeah, so why I don't use companions, right there. Um, okay, so there's a way to know. This guy is definitely a real guy. We're gonna sneak up slowly. Hopefully get a sneak increase. That'd be magnificent. And... There we go. Okay, look at that damage. That is depressingly small. Uh, we're gonna use flames now. Oh, no, he's a mage too. Oh, God. Oh, God, that's not good. Okay, 
Get away, dude. Get no. Okay. I'll see you in pieces. And there we are. Our first death. Probably one of many. So one thing that I heard is that the bane of these legendary playthroughs is going to be mages. And we have our first white here, which are the Draugr mages. And we didn't even get a sneak bonus there. That is terrible. Okay, let's light them up. And get the hell away. Our destruction increased. Oh, God. Okay, uh, so what we're going to have to do is also favorite a bow as well as steel arrows and just fire from afar in cases like this, I think. Okay, hit the pressure plate. Hit the pressure plate. Hit the pressure plate. Yes! <laughs> so satisfying. Bam! Oh my god! Okay, that was epic. <laughs> god. That was actually really cool. Okay, that's exactly why we're doing that legendary... Oh, I want to test something also. If we hold A, we'll drag it instead of putting it in our, in our inventory. And also, does this work? Holy crap, it does. Crazy, right? I didn't actually know that would happen. Okay, let's get past that quickly. Man, yeah, okay, so that right there is exactly why I wanted to do a legendary playthrough. It just makes things so much crazier. So much crazier. Uh, also, our destruction increased. Okay. Okay. So targets on fire take extra damage. So as you keep that um, DPS on them. Also, look how much damage Feindal is doing. Watch. Look at that. He deals a lot of damage because, like I said, he's not being affected by the damage decrease hey, from being on Legendary. Oh, boy. Dude. Oh, my God. Feindal. I feel like games should just be by default. They should make it so that companions don't trip you up. You know? Like, you should be able to phase through them, I feel like. Ancient Nord Bow is going to be an upgrade to our current bow. And we'll take that. Thank you. All right. Let's go back into Sneak. There's a chest at the top of here. And it looks like we'll also get a lockpicking increase. By the way, every time a lockpick breaks like that, you also get an increase. And that is definitely going to level that up. Bam, bam, bam. Ooh. Conjuration spells cost 15% less. Interesting. Uh, we are very close to a level up. If there is a Draugr anywhere nearby, we will get a sneak level up, I think. Okay, here we go. Oh, boy. Pull the chain so our companion can get through. Even though he just didn't give a... He didn't give a shit, did he? He just walked right on through. Um, these pots. You hit them, they drop, they explode. And can deal some good damage. Alright, moving on. That guy is a real Draugr. See? There he goes. Okay. He's just your average Draugr, though. So we should be okay. Let's use flames. Okay, good. No damage. Switch over to the longbow. Get some archery. Teamwork! That's fucking teamwork! What's your favorite position? That's cool with me. It's not my favorite, but I'll do it for you. What's your favorite dish? I'm not gonna cook it, but I'll order it from Zanzibar. Okay, there it is. Beautiful. Now, I should have saved it, but whatever. More health. Uh, One-handed, we need to be up to 40, but sneak. We can now move to... We are 25% harder to detect while sneaking. Now, look at this. Look at that. Eh. Oh, don't tell me that's not even going to hit him. Are you serious? Oh, there he goes. Okay, he's walking into it. We honestly should have saved that. Um, Okay, time for flames. No, I said time for flames. Okay, Fane Doll is down, which is not good. Oh, this is not good. Okay. Time for the longbow again, I think, and we are going to run backwards. Ooh, look at this. Come on. Oh, they didn't do the cool thing. Okay, we're going to watch Feindall and see if they get past him. Got 
Gosh, you deal so little damage with bows, by the way. Oh, and Feindol doesn't take extra damage also. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Put it away. Oh, ah, there we go. Okay. Here we go. This is going to be rough. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, gosh. Oh, we could have... Oh, we could have pulled the... Okay. <laughs> this is so scary. Uh, let's make a quick save. We could have pulled the... Uh, ooh, we draw them all the way back here. Can maybe activate that trap. Okay. Put that away. Let's run over this way. Get behind the pressure plate. He's going to do it to himself. Just watch. Come on, buddy. You're right there. There you go. Bam! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Again. Come on. Come on. Come on! Yeah! No! Feindal, you ruined it! Ah, you ruined it. Oh my god. Okay, this is so much fun. This is almost like an SL1 run in Dark Souls, which is not leveling up. You bet- no! Yep, knew that was coming. I am well, 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 well aware of that being a possibility. Uh -huh. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Well, that is a great- that is a great note to end up. What? Why are these back? That's weird. Maybe I hit that by, ac by accident. Yeah, see, that is the fun of this playthrough, is that I'm forced to do things that I never, ever would do or care about. And yeah, so that's that's kind of like what an SO1 run is in Dark Souls, is you don't level up, so you have to really think about your strategies. Although Skyrim gives you some stuff that makes it even more fun, like the traps... Like the poisons, like the magic, all that sort of stuff. Okay, perfect place to end. I would love to do this entire dungeon in one sitting, but I have a feeling it's going to be quite challenging. So we'll save it for the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. I'm having a gosh darn blast. I'm scared about in the late game when enemies become far too... When they have far too much HP, but we'll see. Thank you so much to the people that watch. Thank you so much to the people that support me on Patreon. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, GV. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to watch more, I stream live on Twitch. I might be live right now. The schedule and link is below. If you want to support me and go the extra mile, consider becoming a patron on Patreon. You get a lot of perks and help me continue to do this. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.